Alright, hi guys, I'm gonna try and go fast here, and because I just tried to do this tutorial like four times, and fourth time I ended up getting this far into having the whole thing rendered and then seeing that this was not good enough. So, um, I also gotta try and make this fast because I was running out of time last time, so. Uh, into Cinema 4D, before I start this, I gotta tell you what we're doing. Um, basically it's the flat, the 3D flying text that I showed you a preview of about five days ago or so. And for this you're going to need Cinema 4D and either After Effects or Sony Vegas. For this case I'm going to be using After Effects. And also you're going to need a font called Bank Gothic Medium BT. And yeah. So once you have all that, just go into Cinema 4D. I already have this done advance but basically I'll just go through it again so right now I screwed up my camera because I was selected camera mode so just make a camera make a camera with everything like all the coordinates zeroed out and apply it and just back the entire camera up pretty far so if you don't know how to make mo text, this isn't a tutorial for you. So just make a mo text and then just write find the clip you're going to use. So for this case, I'm just going to be using this 360 from well not 360, but just me using this clip right here. Um that he does afghan shot 360 and right there where it says the plus 100 you want to find out what the score is it can be plus 400 or whatever and yeah so for my case it's gonna be plus 100 and you just want to make your text put make just leave it right where it is if you go to your camera make sure it's really small I don't think this is small enough so I'm gonna back it up a bit like that and my animation is all messed up here because I just moved the camera <laughs> um basically what you want to do is just animate the text flying by like just like that should be good yeah there we go so you just want to animate the text you want to have it from right at zero you want to have it right where it is and then at frame 10 or wherever doesn't really matter you just having the flyby motion like so so but you want to make sure that the text is really small because you want to do this when it, the text is at its smallest on the clip like at the end because when it gets big and stuff it'll like kinda look weird but um, also in your text, make sure you don't have any caps, cap log, I mean, uh, fill it caps on. And also your horizontal spacing, just lower that down till it seems right. I don't know. Um, now let's just, I hope this doesn't screw up anything. Let's just move it all over a little bit, like custom. Um, like that. Looks good. Yeah, that looks good. If I failed at this, then I don't know. Um, you're gonna make sure you have your text also as the font that I showed you before. Again, it is Bank Gothic Medium BT. And yeah, so let's just see if I didn't done goof the entire thing, which I haven't. So that's pretty ugly, but whatever. Not really, but. Anyways, so now that you have this, you want to make sure you have some nice, pretty decent lighting. So you just, you don't really need anything like special or anything. So you just make two discs and then put a material on them that just has luminance. And I put it at 100. And yeah, that's all it is for lighting. Then in the render settings, you want to make sure it, the format is a PNG. This is important and that you have alpha channel on and also when you save it just make a folder just for this like video because I mean for this effect because when I rendered 
and when I rendered it before what it does is it makes a bunch of pictures and you don't want that on your desktop it'll just like clog up the entire thing and it'll be annoying and also just name the file whatever you want without any numbers or anything because it'll add the numbers automatically just so you know what I don't know what comes in order and stuff and yeah um, if you go to output 1280 by 720 make sure your frames are 0 to 120 that is a preferable 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 speed or frame length or whatever you want to call it so 0 to 120 glow illumination not checked you just delete that if it's there and yeah so make sure you check your camera right here so you're in camera mode and you just click render and I would like to overwrite yes I would like to overwrite so as you can see it's going relatively fast and I will be back when it's done rendering in about 35 seconds because last time it took like 40 seconds and this is even smaller so yeah we're back okay I am very happy with myself because last time I did the tutorial this was already at 11 by where I am right now so yeah it took 45 seconds I mean 44 but whatever um so now you're done with Cinema 4D and stuff you just open up After Effects or Sony Vegas or anything it should be relatively the same but anyways let's just delete that so you guys don't get confused um replace footage don't look at this because it'll confuse you just pretend you're a monkey damn oh, no. I am a monkey okay so you find the clip you get the clip that you that you want to use and you just put it in your composition like normal people do and you just do your adjustments with the cropping and stuff because HDPVR to leave the black line right so now you just drag the entire folder the entire folder straight into After Effects and it should automatically give you an image sequence and you just drag that uh, no before you drag it you want to find right where he gets the kill and right when the text is at its smallest okay yeah so right about there right there so now you just drag in your afghan shot right there wait what am I talking about no, you drag in this. <laughs> Sorry, it's late at night. Not really, but you drag it in. This is fail. You drag it in right there. Anyways, right on top of everything. And I don't know where my plus went. There it is. Uh, so you just make sure you just take the whole thing and you move it around till it's basically when you do this try and avoid having it go down because the text might be off and you just want to recenter it and that looks wrong I don't know I can't tell hmm. just drag it <laughs> anyways I can't tell. Can you tell? Oh, probably because their quality is on really bad. Uh, let's just, yeah, so you just make minor adjustments to the file. Well, to the, the text. I'm just going to drag it a little bit over and drag this right like that. There. So that did not come out well. And whoa there. My phone's ringing. I'll be right back. Okay, just as the phone r finished, I realized this is going to take forever to upload. Um, but, yeah, you just want to move these little things back and forth. Until you get it right. I think I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> I don't know. 
see that. I don't want that. <laughs> um, just I don't know. I'll do it as best as I can for this, but just take your time when doing this. I'm rushing to try and get it under the time of 15 minutes. So um, now that it is pretty much centered or attempt of center just gonna play it back really quick and this is gonna lag so let's just try it okay well that was a little sketchy but um, you might wanna speed up your clip a little bit um, the 3d text speed it up go to layer time enable time remapping you just stretch it I think this is what you do no, I am completely wrong let's just use Twixter <laughs> if you have Twixter use it I don't know this is turning out to be a really big fail for the fourth time let's drag on Twixter you don't need anything any special like render settings but just speed it up just speed it up so like when he gets back the clip it's like out of the frame like that so okay you have that done let's just play this section really quick really looks bad but whatever so yeah you have that um, also a thing you can do if it kinda like just jumps in and appears you can just go to transform and then just keyframe some opacity basically making it fade in that's a fade in right there so opacity keyframe that go all the way to the beginning make it at zero and there you go you gotta fade in Phew. let's just really quick try and match the colors even more and the colors are a little off so basically just do some color curves. Uh, I gotta speed up this because it's going too fast. I mean, too slow. Effects, color correction, and then curves right there. Curves. Just gonna brighten it up a bit. I don't know. That looks pretty close. Maybe a bit darker, a little bit lighter. Yeah, there. That is good. That's how you do curves, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I am running out of time really badly. I gotta finish this fast. Anyway, so once you have this, just add your color correction and blah blah blah. Render it out. Put it in Vegas. Do whatever else you do. And that is pretty much it, guys. So thank you for watching. And yeah, sorry for this being a long and pretty failure-ish or whatever, done goofed. So yeah, thank you. Goodbye.